The only one important thing is, I'm the Jeff. He's I'm Jeffrey. Jeffrey yeah. Yes. It, well, and it also it wasn't. Jeffy to Jeffrey. It also wasn't Jeff Jr. because I'm I'm not a junior. We have different middle names, so he is Jeff, and I am Jeffrey. That's right. Well, when Jeffrey was really young, I used to drag him to the job sites, and it seemed like we was always redoing a project here and there, and he just was attached to it. Every Sunday, we would always drive around, you know, the area and look at houses, buildings, and uh, we drove by this, and I just fell in love. And I think I told my mom, uh, I want to buy that building one day, and she said, you go for it. The story of the nuns is a fascinating story, and it really captivates anyone, I think. It's naturally interesting to realize that there were nuns tucked away, hidden away in this building. Yeah. And as you go through it, you kind of see the little walkways and the little coveways so that they, their entire existence was inside these walls. Yeah, so they made it pretty interesting as a result architecturally. Yeah. And they, that's, that's kind of what we want to bring back. That's the main part of the original building that we really do want to make sure to preserve. And so anywhere we've ever been that we've had sort of a unique feel that was distinct to the area was important to us. And so when we were talking about, you know, what we were going to do here and the plans and it started off, you know, well, that cathedral or that, that sanctuary is really beautiful, we should bring it back. Originally just going to re-renovate it into apartments, but that sounded kind of boring, especially for such a beautiful building. Depending on lighting and whatnot, you can see there's uh, the original wall cladding, which is stone. So everything in here, including the uh, altar, is surrounded by limestone. I'm going to go ahead on up and then you guys can follow. I think it's important that you get your yeah, cameras it's, up here. It's, it's really, really worthwhile. Really and hit me the camera, Jeffrey. Okay. This is worth effort, guys. <laughs> so here's the old arches. Wow. And then this this sort of rounded ceiling, which is about 25 or so feet, this is likely to actually be the entry and the lobby area. So you'll have these nice high ceilings, and then we'll have a uh, really sort of, sort of a large glass light fixture put up into the ceiling here. That's kind of what I'd like to see. It kind of goes back to our criteria that we wanted to create uh, three basic things here. One was a community gathering place, a place for the community to feel comfortable to come here uh, at a bar or restaurant. The second thing was to have a venue for the local along with people from away from here to have a, you know, a special gathering of some type, whether it be in the courtyard or whether it be in the uh, cathedral. Uh, the third thing then became uh, a functional part of it all to have the boutique hotel rooms. Yeah. One of the things with historical properties is finding a functional means uh, to make the ends. Uh, and those three key components allow us to really invest a, a, a lot of money into the property along with the historical tax credits, which are hugely beneficial. Without those things, this building would uh, really just sit here and dissolve, I'm afraid. You can sort of start to get to see all of these rooms are going to be circling the courtyard. So every single one of you will be of this gorgeous courtyard, which will be changing throughout the year. Yeah, but this is a collaboration of 30 plus years of working on properties, working on projects, and then uh, evolving from a fixer-up uh, mentality to uh, a full-scale construction. Yeah. You know, his design eye and and our ability to actually make things happen. And uh, you know, it's a, big, it's a big project, but it's a lot of little pieces that'll come together at the end of the day. Yeah, that's right. It's more about the, the quantity of stuff than any one single thing being overly complicated. It's just the, the persistence and the, the understanding of what you have to do along the way to do it in such a way that you're able to finish it. Oh. And that's where, that's where he and I, as much as we may bicker and both be very passionate and, and that passion shows through screaming, uh, we have different strengths and weaknesses and so we play off of each other quite well. And, well as, uh, you have a major skill in the fact that you can argue one second and uh, have a beer the next. That's exactly right, we both do. We uh, we're very good at you know having a like knock down, drag out and then say where do you want to go to eat. Yeah. Yeah. When you're hungry, you're hungry. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>